Hello, thank you for joining us on ARI TV. This is English News Broadcast live from the headquarters in Asmara at exactly 10.30 p.m. local time. First, the top stars. Activity Assessment Meeting. Seminar to students of Haggaz Agricultural and Technical School. Boko Haram attacks on northeast Nigerian villages. At least one dead due to storm in France. The German branch of the National Union of Eritrean Women conducted activity assessment meeting on 28th and 29th November, October, in the city of Mannheim. During the meeting, which was attended by representatives from 21 sub-branches of the organization, Mrs. Lu Ultawalde, the union branch chairperson, stated that the significant effort has been made to entice young women to join the union. The organizers of the meeting stated that the union branch's involvement in public diplomacy and media relations was commendable. The reports that were given in the programs that were designed for the second half of the year were thoroughly discussed by the participants. The meeting was also addressed by Mr. Kibra Abtakhaste, the Consul General of Eritrea, and Mr. Kahsai Tawalda, the Head of Public and Community Affairs at the Eritrean Embassy. The PFDG Secretary for the Ansaba region, Mr. Hailed Waldeberhan, gave a seminar to the students of Haggaz Agricultural and Technical School. Mr. Haile urged the students to become competitive in their education by making the most of educational opportunities offered. Mr. Haile urged the students to focus on their study and uphold the great societal ideals, stating that the purpose of the free theoretical and practical training they are receiving is to rescue the future of the nation's youth. Additionally, Mr. Haile provided an update on the state of national development initiatives and the overall state of affairs in the country. Haggaz Agricultural and Technical School is currently providing activi active education service to 255 students, including 120 females. Outstanding students from 25 elementary and high schools who achieved higher marks in the 2022-2023 academic year were provided the Kohaito Award in the Adlai Sabzon. Mr. Bayana Tasfai, head of the education office in the Sabzon, said that out of the award is 24 students were, who score from 3 to 4 points in the National School Living Examination of 2022-2023. Speaking at the event, Mr. Habtai Tesfazgi, the subzone administrator, praised the efforts made by wealthy Adlai residents and government workers to support deserving students and state the subzonal administration's readiness to contribute to the program's sustainability. Deserving students and stated the subzonal administrator's readiness to contribute to the program's sustainability. We are live on Air TV, stay tuned for international news. Extremists in northeast Nigeria killed at least 37 villagers into different attacks, residents said yesterday. Highlighting once again how the Islamic extremist rebels have remained in their 14-year insurgency in the hard-hit region. The extremists targeted villagers in Yobe state on Monday and Tuesday in the first attack in the state. In more than a year, shooting dead 17 people at the first while using a landmine to kill 20 others who had gone to attend their burial, witness said. The Boko Haram Islamic extremist group launched an insurgency in the northeast Nigeria in 20. In 2009, in an effort to establish the radical interpretation of the Islamic law or Sharia in the region, at least 35,000 people have been killed and more than 2 million displaced due to the extreme violence concentrated in Borna City State.
In France, the northwest coast was hit by violent gales as winds speed up to 207 km per hour were recorded on the Pont du Ras in the Finisterre department in Brittany. The storm had left 1.2 million homes without electricity in France, 780,000 of which are located in Brittany, energy, provide, energy provider said. The storm is forecast to move inland to, to excuse me, the, for, the storm is forecast to move inland today. A total of 31 French departments have been placed on orange alerts for dangerous weather. Waves of 8 to 10 meters are expected in certain areas along the Atlantic. A violent wind warning is in place in Paris. Widespread travel disruption is expected until tomorrow morning with multiple airports and train lines closed throughout France. Now we have a quick review of the top stars. Activity assessment meetings. Seminar to students of Haggas Agricultural and Technical School. Boko Haram attack on Northeast Nigerian village. At least one dead due to storm in France. That was all with the news for tonight. Thank you for being with us. Have a good night.